Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos and the Baylor Bears. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Bears might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for them? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, keep the mental mistakes to a minimal. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Second, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. And lastly, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Now the high screen. In the paint. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Both teams looking to get things going here. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. The power forward gets the ball. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job in his footwork to create the drop step. The ball goes out of play. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. They look to get it to the inside. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The small forward gets the pass. He looks for the bomb. Oh, yes. trying to make a statement you talk about a packed house look at this crowd i tell you coach's dream baby this gives you that edge didn't give it to him down low going the other way patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset the point guard takes the feed trying to feed inside he got the steal the pressure got to the ball handler well some ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. The small forward takes the pass. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Robs him with the ball. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Almost lost the basketball. Tries for two. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Trying to go inside. Oh, what a strip, Red. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Working around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter for the bucket. Perfectly executed. They've got a player spotting up on the three. There he is. Strips the ball loose. He hammers it home. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. Look at that spacing. 
He shoots from right of the circle. Sinks the shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Look at this last play right here. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. He does the sweet fake shot. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. The frustration right there. Tinsley is receiving lots of love from the crowd. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Dumps it in. In anticipation defensively. He fires from long range. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Turns it over. Marries it home. He bombs from outside. Nice shot. Got a nice screen. Jumped in front to take it away. The point guard with the ball. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Now they work it around the perimeter. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Foul charge. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. the outside. Alley-oop. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of bounds. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from the top of the circle. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. That was a 
great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. For two, he gets that one to fall. That's a 7 nothing run. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Side. Sets a screen for his teammate. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. There's a double team waiting there. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. up the three ball gets it to go gave it up that spin moves not going to work against the defense like that I tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin the Bears have got to continue to get him the ball that he's on fire trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing And momentary look from three-point land. Steals a pass. Bailey is feeling great right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Well, this isn't the contest we expected so far. This is turning into a blowout, baby. Somebody better find some heart and start doing the little things. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. <laughs> tempo to game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Makes it. Both teams looking to get things going here. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Number 14 fakes the shot. The fake. And a slam. The dribble gives it up. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Steals the ball. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. From three-point territory. This one looks to be headed into blowout territory. You can't let a team just control the momentum like this, Brad. I think they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. All right, thanks, Aaron. from the angle. Knocks it down. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Gave it up. Low block. Jumps in. He goes for three. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Picked out of the air. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. High post screen. Going to use it. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. Here's a flash from the high post. He looks for three. Ain't no stopping him right now from the Arctic. You better believe him, baby. They're making him pay from out there. Look at that spacing. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They'll work it around the arc. Top of the circle, they work it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Taken away. Here they go into transition. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Here's the replay. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Trying to draw the foul. That's good. And the ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit side. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. Up and inside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the three ball. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Randy's on fire. He tries a jump hook. I'd say a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Makes the foul shot. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Working around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball.
He's got a nice shot fake. Fakes it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He pump fakes. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Kicks it out. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Little he threw down that dunk and got the foul. You've got to foul him harder than that if you're going to foul. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. The Gauchos go to the line for the first time in this game. He got it. Tries the three ball, way off target. Puts it up, looking for contact. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't throw that, baby. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Good job defensively. Jumps into the defender. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Looking for a good shot. Tries a three. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. <laughs> On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Picked off. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. For the bucket. There was no doubt about that one. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Let's go back and watch that basket again. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Cue up the replay, fellas. Opportunity for two for one. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. Dump it inside. Fake. He shoots from downtown. He is just lighting it up, dude. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Moving it around the perimeter. 
Way out on top. Controlling the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And in and out. At the half, the Bears lead by 14. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Baylor was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrew. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. They work the perimeter. Shooter spotting up on the three. Goes up for two. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And again, they look to run. For two, the land. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. Good fake. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. And the ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. They're working around the arc. In the post. For two. He gets the shot to fall. Put a show on, man. Great boy having his skills. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From downtown, he hits the tough shot. I tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The center receives the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Off the rim and no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. 
Looking to move it around the perimeter. For the deuce. Doesn't go. The point guard handles the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Lee handles the feed. Gave it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He drains the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Controlling the ball. Nice fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Stolen ball. Fast break possibility coming. Easy one. The Gauchos trail by 25. He takes the shot. Buried it. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. With the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. He lets it go. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. With the fake. Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. You see Santa Barbara are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the skews change somewhat. Tinsley in the paint for the bucket. Was that beautiful or what? Picks off the pass. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Gets a hand in the way. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Way off target. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. That one goes back from whence it came. The shooting guard receives the pass. He drains it. The Gauchos are down by 20. Here's a double team. It's stolen. It's good. He took a mid-air whacking, but he got the layup to fall. Hey, Brad, he deserves a free one for that play. He 
goes to the line for the first time. Rims out. Good rebound. Great position on the rebound. Good block out. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. From left of the circle, he missed. Goes up for two. The Gauchos are trailing by 22. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. to draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Working it around the perimeter. For the deuce. Tickles the twine. The Gauchos are down by 24. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes it off him. Both teams reluctant to slow things down. This pace is amazing. Man, I can't see how either team can maintain this pace and remain productive at the same time. They move it into the front court. Steals the ball. They're off into transition. He posterized it. To the line, shooting one. Sinks it. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. He couldn't get it to fall. Stolen away. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They'll work it around the arc. In the paint for the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Now they work it around the perimeter. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? 
Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? All right, thanks, Aaron. Looking for a good shot. He launches a three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Look at that spacing. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He comes away with it. It's a fast break possibility. He nails the shot. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Stolen away. You got to be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. Long lead pass. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Oh, he's having fun with the opponents, dude. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. job there by the defense knocking the ball loose then getting possession that's a nine zip run boy it's all elbows and shoulders down there and i think the defense is winning dick i tell you doing a great job of post defense a lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught and this kid has responded in a positive way from a different area code nope steals the ball Excellent spacing. That's so important in a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Still hot, and who's not after a timeout, Dick? Well, you gotta think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Picked out of the air. He shoots from the top of the circle. He sinks another basket. What are they gonna do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Rims out. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Defensively try to stay with his man. He's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play out there and you front it. There's the trap. Gets it back out. The ball goes out of play. The post flashes up high if he wants it. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. You see Santa Barbara have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Fakes the shot. Got a man in high post. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He takes the shot off the baseline. He nails the bucket. Picks off the lazy pass. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Moving it around the perimeter. For two. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Here's the screen up on top. Baylor have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. This is what you're supposed to do down low is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. the dribble gives it up picked off well let's see who'll benefit the most out of that timeout dick He launches the bomb. You bet. He lets it go. He hits it. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. They'll work it around the arc. That's a foul. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. He steps up to the line. Hits the first. It's the second. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. 
He gets them all. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. We're ready to get back to the action. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Now it's matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. And the clock stopped with a foul. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Second shot, good. They need a basket here to turn this into a one-possession game. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Second one, good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. One plus one if it's good. He makes the front end of the one and one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He can't buy one. They call for a T.O. Dick. Hey, time is their worst enemy at this point, Brad. They're going to have to bear down and get some stops, then convert at the other end. cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going is that what makes college so special the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders the mascot everybody involved no finish on that one
He misses it. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. into action here. He tries to beat the clock. Off the rim and no good. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you've got to win it. Keep on going to get to that final Monday night game. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Baylor opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.